Welcome back to the next edition of the Limitless Podcast. This is the third edition, and we've been rejoined. The bear is back. Hey. Hey. This is Yay. Big Bear. Welcome back, Big Bear. Hello, Hello. Richard. Hello. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, so passionate. Uh, anyway, I'm passionate. No, I'm more, pa- I'm more passionate later on. I'm right. Kira, I'm creative writer. This is Joel, acting creative director. Oh, acting. Oh, I know. <laughs> this is Gavin, just Hi. a social media manager. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> he is a manager. And Big oh, Bear, we don't actually know what he does. <laughs> yeah, what, what is your, your job it's, title it's now? It's nuanced. Actually? It's very <laughs> much noob. Noob. Right, we're starting off uh, with graphics. World Cup, like the last two, but this time we're just going to go off more and World discuss. Cup special. Yeah, 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 as yeah I was, just I, kind of discuss the uh, entire tournament. Yes. So, uh, where do you want to start? England game? England, England, England Belgium, game. Belgium. Right then. Bit of a snore fest, wasn't it? Yeah, I mean, everybody's been a lot of speculation about this, haven't they? Because there's yeah. been, uh, like, we were meant to lose. Some people are saying that we actually tried. So no, yeah. we didn't. I don't think no. we did, no. to be fair. But I think what caused it were Rashford's miss. Because yeah. it, it's people like every day of week, he should be banging that into that. Yeah. That yeah. should have been a goal, definitely. Yeah, I thought we were back on to that, to be fair. You did get I would say you got a touch yeah. to it, but, but even still, like mm. you could, tell, you could him, tell with the actual, there wasn't much conviction behind the strike, was yeah. there? Yeah, yeah, both teams put B teams on just straight off the bat, yeah. didn't they? No well, one were expecting I hated that. I was looking forward to the game. I mean, I knew the whole thing about losing, trying to get an easy Tactics. draw. Tactics. But yeah. it's just like, well, yeah, yeah, I you think want to see your star players, and it's just like... The thing was, it's like, if we lost, we get an easier route to the final. It's more looking at the long term, look at the, yeah. the long term plan. Look at the positives, the only real team we've now got to go up against. See, when players. I was watching it, I was that way, some people who were just completely against the fact that we could just get an easy way to the final, and they were no, going we want absolutely Brazil. ballistic <laughs> at the time. Of course, we want to take on Brazil. We do want Brazil. Yeah, no, that's <laughs> what I mean, it's like that, or uh, Colombia, I mean, see if that's in it. Thing. End of the day, the only two teams really on the way yeah. now that we've got that are probably difficult are Croatia and Colombia. Yeah, yeah, Croatia. Yeah, or maybe sure. Russia, you never know. Yeah, Could Russia be. being host nation, yeah. you never know. They were just going mad because they're like, well, we should win every game, we should just get to the final properly. I'm like, yeah, well, but it's the one Spain we haven't won it since 66. Oh, <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> Allow us something. <laughs> well, look at Spain in 2010. Lost the yeah, first game. Yeah, well, they're they're a completely it. different team, in my opinion. Now. Yeah, they're just they're broken. <laughs> Well, we'll get into but that yeah, later. Yeah, uh, <laughs> game overall, it was a star fest, wasn't it? It was boring. It was well, one rare moment quality from Adnan. Yeah, it was the like first yeah. England Some game. Region. I sat Very there much. and wasn't Sorry, sad in the slightest <laughs> that we lost. <laughs> I was like, I was kind of actually happy that we lost. It's, it's a bad that celebrated. <laughs> Has that ever happened yeah. before? Genuinely celebrated the fact that we I lost. I generally think when Belgium score, they were like, oh no. We need let, let England score because basically they thought, oh, damn it, we're well, going to didn't think that clearly because he ended up yeah. saving from Rashford. Yeah. <laughs> that was yeah. the one issue. But Their yeah, goal, though, it were, a, it were a long range banger, wasn't it? I uh, would think at the time, like, did he mean to do that? I'm surprised no. he didn't turn around to Sorry, sorry. <laughs> 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 Martinez looked very happy about it. That's yeah, I know. Sure. <laughs> what are you doing here? <laughs> 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 what are you doing? <laughs> 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 I want this to lose because it's back to Manchester United. It's going to be a pass. Yeah, 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 it's it is something why both teams did try to lose a game because obviously like England now have got Colombia, they beat yeah. Colombia, they've got Sweden or Switzerland. And Rodriguez is injured in for that game, he's not no, starting. He's, 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 he's training. Is he training? He's training, yeah. he's training but I don't feel he'll back for it. Yeah, I can say we're well. confirmed to not start for the team. It's been a bit of a mix one with that one because it's been saying that he's been confirmed, that he's been saying that he isn't, and it's just like, which one is it then? Mm. Well, they want, it, they it want seems ma- like mind games. He wasn't massively injured, but he did look a bit tired, didn't he, coming off at the field in Colombia's last game. Aye, so that's so it. End of day, um, one could try yeah. for it though. The only, the only issue now, really, for, in my opinion, in terms of the actual threats, well, as we get into probably this, it's probably a semi final stage, probably yeah, Croatia. Croatia. We beat Sweden, Switzerland. I have them two play each other, and we get Croatia in the semis if they beat Denmark. Yeah. So, but the thing is, then you look at yeah. like, this is like. <laughs> <laughs> the Brazil's game, for, no, Belgium's game, right? They play Japan, if they win that, they either get Brazil or they either get France. Yeah, that's tough. I think France. So they've got such a difficult. France are know. a hard opponent this year. Many yeah. people have been underrated. 
Yeah. Yeah, well, I, I kind of went under the, under the radar for me. Yeah, I underrated you Aguirre myself. I didn't think I mean, because I, don't, I, I mean, if you can, I know obviously Ronaldo's aging that now, but if you can hold him like uh, arms a whip and make sure he doesn't score yeah. <laughs> an entire I mean, game. Mm-hmm. Like, it's been getting better and better and better even with age. Yeah, and Ronaldo, I say, so it's, it's, it's suppressing really him. But the only thing I always say with can Ronaldo only team so far. is, yeah, yeah, there's only so, so much you can carry another 10 people. Yeah, to victory yeah, but even, even on still, back of your own shoulders. Even still, the fact that Uruguay went through the entire group stage, I know they'd have the best of opponents, but without mm. even conceding a goal, yeah. that's just, pretty yeah. impressive. It's just him and Messi, yeah. gone. It's an event. Good times. That's Suarez, Cavani partnership's unreal. Then you've got that. Godin and Jimenez, then you've got, got the back. Alex Cummins with defence, which is just like a great foundation to have as a side for World yeah. Cup, especially. I think the most solid team for me is Croatia. I think, like, all across the field, they're quite solid as a team. Like they you wouldn't, you wouldn't really stand really out that well. much, but they do, no, like you yeah, said, they yeah, gel yeah. together really well as yeah, a team. Yeah, they're not, they haven't got, well, they've got a couple of outstanding players, like Star players. Modric, but, yeah, Rakitic yeah. and probably Manzuki. Manzuki. Yeah, but other than that, like, there isn't that many Star players or people that are well known. It's just they all do work yeah. very well as a team. Well, but yeah. that's what gets you to victory. Yeah. Well, I'm going to say that's, so. that's where it has been this tournament. It's just a case of not really having any Star players or Star names, just a case of working as a team. Mm. Unless yeah. you're German. Yeah. Well, I think that's what we're going to talk about. I think it's England's year. I think that's the original report. Yeah, yeah, like underdogs are looking stronger. I've said that since. Yeah, start. it's England's year. It's definitely England's year. No. Yeah. <laughs> it is. Come Don't jinx it. It's football's coming out. I, I have been saying that for two months now. <laughs> So and um, even I'm starting to regret saying it. Yeah. It's, it's little, uh, possible. Guess yeah. you've made it. <laughs> this prediction yeah. that you yeah, need yeah. to play Croatia Gaff's in the semis, Uruguay, Brazil in the semis, and then the final's going to be Brazil, England, and then we're going to win 4-3. So we're talking about predictions here now. Apparently. No, I'm talking about the actual predictions here now, then what are we going to think of? Yeah, they're predictions, yeah. It's going to be England and Japan, and we're going to be 2-1. Japan? Yeah. You'll be, you'll well, some, next. Ja- some Japan are going to beat Belgium and somehow like... You yeah, never know at Jim's tournament. Belgium are going to play their B team thinking Japan are going to be a breeze. Then Japan them. will score and then they'll close the tables, close ranks. That's it. Belgium will play the B team. Two no, I don't see, I don't see that. No. Yeah, yeah, that would be. I would say it's knockout football at this stage. So you, 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 like, you, you'll take any team seriously. Yeah. yeah. No yeah, matter you who you are. You can't kind of shrug it off can you, at this stage even against... Like Japan right. are nowhere near the standard of Belgium, but no. you're not going to need to sit half no. out of there. Really. So everyone knows they're going to better win Japan, but it's when we get to the quarters and we've got I, so I feel like Belgium will have Mexico in quarters. I genuinely do. You think Mexico will beat Brazil? I feel like Mexico will beat Brazil. Both I don't think... Uh, oh, you know, after Germany, I don't think we should <laughs> like, assume winners, though, either, because of the Germany game. Yeah. Just saying. <laughs> yeah, um, we will I get can, to, and I we will <laughs> get to a Germany game. And the Germans out there, ha-ha! What <laughs> 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 Yeah, well, <laughs> nobody expected that at all, did they? No. The, uh, I didn't really expect it, but with, 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 with the game, it was like... I'm not ranting about this, I'm refusing to rant, but uh, with the game, it was just a case of, like, they were being really, they were really slow, really lethargic, and no yeah. they didn't, really, didn't really, like, gel as a team. Like, 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 like Croatia. Croatia. They were not passing. expecting to lose or even have a struggle within that game, were they? So. Yeah. Well, that's it, Mexico took the game to them. In that first game, for yeah. example, yeah, and really made them like just have to force yeah, that it to a bit. work and work yeah. as opposed to just having not pay off. <laughs> the problem is we're waiting, too, we're waiting to far too complacent, lack of urgency, no penetration, the passing, sideways, sideways, and just yeah, it's just surprising, surprising because clean. usually that's what makes their team is the direct like, yeah, yeah, yeah. They've yeah. always got a good direction. They've always got on ball play spot like on and yeah. even off ball defense is usually yeah. top notch. So it's like well, it's going on this year. Anyway, enough about Germany for now. I want to rant about that later. Yeah, well, <laughs> that was, well the career, career in June was one of the best games. So what do you think is actually one of the best games you've seen so far this tournament? Throughout the whole World Cup. So far, yeah, obviously. So I'd like, I'd like to... Who did Portugal play first? Spain. Yeah, yeah, that, that's my favourite. Just that because it just... That's what I was going to go for. But one game recently has changed my mind. Which is France, Argentina. You uh, guess that. It was a good game. Such a good game. Mbappe's goals. Oh, the volley. Really? <laughs> oh. Even before the goals, you see that run he did to get the penalty. Yeah. The pace he showed there, he blitzed past them all. That was fantastic. It looked like me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we went to get a selfie, my guy. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, when I ran out to take that picture, that was me. <laughs> He was Mbappe is just a bit slower though, I reckon, probably. Yeah, he's a bit slower. Oh, yeah. I'm having a good long think about mine right now. Because there's a few games on there. Yeah, but it has been quite a while. There has been, there is, how many goals did you say there's been overall? It's over 100, aren't there? There has been 136. That's yeah. a mad well, goal. Well, too often with prediction, I thought 138. 
damn it. Well, I've <laughs> only watched England's games and Japan's games. I've watched Japan's games. I've just missed. <laughs> no, but so far, I've just woke up to the most entertaining I've seen. Definitely. Mm. I think for the last one. For my yeah, for my trip to follow anyway, with the actual games, probably. Uruguay Portugal. Uruguay Portugal. Just because I, I have no way is I just prefer like watching like, a good defensive display over attacking football sometimes. Yeah, I don't know. I like it. That's a good point. I'm with Ali. I prefer doing attacking it. games where the both of them are just going at it. Yeah. Yeah. France Argentina. I was going to say Argentina, I guess France Argentina would probably be my second choice. Yeah, yeah. Because again, I do enjoy attacking football, but for like defensive display for Uruguay, Uruguay best at the time so far. Yeah, in easily in terms of defending. Display. Uh, I, I didn't feel like that game went on the edge of the seat sort of situation enough for me. France was. Where just but Argentina went in front. Yeah, <laughs> <with> Portugal, <laughs> I awesome Portugal Spain, it were like, I went into the seat constantly. You didn't know what was <laughs> happening. One minute Spain, one minute Portugal. It's, <laughs> it just went back and forth, whereas I think France just basically dominated yeah. that game, to be honest. Yeah, it's yeah, yeah, yeah. 70% of the game was just France, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah. I think yeah. Argentina's second goal was so fluky. <laughs> Such deflection. <laughs> Messi two Messi one strikes and hits his leg and it goes in. Yeah, and then France come back with Mbappe who just like a bit of pace in the box, trickery, bang. Mm. He's gonna be a star. Yeah, Messi, like Messi tried to uh, France's uh, second, bring it back France's a bit. Second goal, the volley that was that was unreal. Oh yeah, that goal yeah. tournament right, so far for right back for France. Yeah. Didn't you on the goal at tournament? Yeah, oh, it's similar to a Nacho goal. Moment, I was after is because of the fact that, like you said, there's more technique, there's more kill on it. Yeah, Nacho's was just pure more of power. <laughs> De Maria's finish went back for alive. Yeah, I just like England's game. Yeah, 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 I haven't watched England, I've only watched Japan, so... Out of all them, it was England's first game that's best. Yeah. Yeah. Because I've only watched Japan play, and I've only watched England play. Tunisia. Against Tunisia. Yeah, where England just kind of rolled around the field like, yeah, we've got this. Just in the Panama game. We don't usually look confident. No, we don't. We usually panic, no matter what the opposition is. And therefore, because of that, it's coming home. <laughs> Here we go, we've dropped it. We'll Here we go, back, drop. Back, yeah. back to the pure delusion. Yeah. <laughs> we're not going to have another Iceland moment, we're going to steamroll everyone. Oh, God, I think he's got goals tomorrow. More three against Brazil in the final. More goals statistically, World Cup being scored on set pieces, like penalties yeah. and yeah. set England pieces, England like England free kicks, stuff like that. So well. that's what like we've sort of focused on throughout this tournament so far, aren't we? Set pieces, yeah. free kicks. Well, I mean, when you've got the likes of Mr. Kane, Maguire and Stones, yeah. for example. Yeah, it makes sense. Yeah. 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 I say we've, we've got a bit of a combination really now, because we can either play it across the ground for obviously Sterling and Rashford. Yeah. yeah. Or we can play it in the air for Kane, Maguire, etc. Yeah, we've got a bit of a... Uh, oh, we've got balance. A bit of height, a bit of pace. Balanced. It's yeah. a balanced team, which is yeah. Yeah. unusual England for us. Se- England yeah. teams in the past have... It's a been good boring quality, football. But not pace. Boring, boring football. They all, like, it was just 90 minutes of them passing it round back up and down field. Because the problem was we were trying to beat Spain at the yeah. time. Yeah, we were we're sure, we're not really like the same kind of team as mm. Spain. We were obviously more, us being direct seems to work more. Yeah, the problem is yeah. just passing it around. Yeah, Spain, they kind of mastered that technique of just aggravating your opponent. Pretty much. Well, that's it. I'm going to say in the day, like. You can have, at the end of the day with England, it's like, there's not really as many technical players. No. It's more about the pace and like, just counter attack. I feel like us. the thing with England teams in the past, too many players have had the same qualities and there hasn't been that much of a balance. Well, like, look, at look at the golden generation Lampard, <laughs> Gerard, Paul Scholes, David Beckham, all in that midfield, all pretty much have the same qualities essentially. Yeah. There's not really that many players who had that unique bit of like dribbling pace and that. Yes, we had Wayne Rooney up front, who was probably our best threat for that. Yeah. Now in DC United. We used to have a really, yeah. really good team, like <laughs> likes of Lampard and stuff yeah, like that. Yeah, that's our golden generation. We never we won. Not, <laughs> no. We never balanced, that was the problem. I know. We needed to play Joe Colmar. We had yeah, a lot of star players about like him, Beckham yeah. and that, and just nothing came And our best player in midfield was Owen Hargreaves. Yeah. A player who not <laughs> oh, we've got the pedal. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, Jesus. it's tragic because like, yeah. back then you'd compare the team we've got now to them and you think, God, we've got no chance now. Yeah. But we look way more promising yeah. now more than exciting. what we've ever done, the, ever. Yeah. It's not just the balance of it, it's more the fact that there's, because there's a little bit like less experience, there's a little bit less experience of losing it. Yeah. yeah. There's yeah. a lot more confidence there's in the team because of well. We'll have to make an emergency podcast actually. tomorrow when we lose. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, we're we're sorry for it. We didn't mean anything. When we lose, we're going in at like 10 o'clock at night then. Yeah, just yeah. to do this. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We apologise. Everything we right said was delusion. So yeah, <laughs> <laughs> it was delusion talking. Yeah, we're all wrong. Well, I know one thing itself in this time round. We've actually got a goal score from like in previous World Cups. Oh, yeah, yeah we've never had that start. He's winning Golden Boot. Italian yeah. yeah, Golden Boot. Yeah, he's got the most goals so far. Yeah, he's yeah, yeah, yeah. And Ronaldo can't catch him anymore. No, yeah, Costa can't. Yeah, Costa can't either. 
It's going to get um, wrapped up. Harry Kane. Yeah, him and Messi are taking plane home. Bless. Enjoy. <laughs> Golden Boot's coming home as well. Yeah. Golden yeah. Boot. <laughs> Everything's coming out. Everything. <laughs> England England Golden Love. Love. Oh yeah. I, I still think we'll feel like we should play Nick Pope in there as a pick for to be honest. Nick Pope. Just because he's Nick Pope. Yeah, I generally do. What Just because his name's Pope. <laughs> <laughs> No, because oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, watching Pickford in like the three games is yeah, it's good when it comes to like reflex and all that, but and reactions, but it tends to push it back out into like the, the actual line of fire. Yeah, yeah, I've got and, 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 and not only that, but if it comes into like the bottom corner, it seems to struggle with oh, it. And I'm not it's sure a good why. keeper it's as well around it. He's not really been testing this World Cup so far. I'm based on the I'm based it on the actual. I think with the Panama goal, that's what I'm basing it on. I'd rather have Pickford so far, but. Like I say, I ain't got hands. It came, it is like, say, he doesn't catch it, does it? It's like, like oh yeah, I'll just bat it away. And hope that's there's, there's a lot of like crosses that he could have easily just caught and instead he just yeah, pushed it away. And it's, and it's fair enough, like, well, yeah. And Rob Green. Um, I mean, yeah. a, 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 a one armed man is better than Rob Green. Pretty much. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> no keeper at all, maybe. Could be possibly better than Rob Green. Yeah, just play Spider Kings about Rob Green. <laughs> one thing that's took my attention is this. What are you for it, Gav? Curse of the Champions. Oh, yeah. So I didn't yeah. know these stats existed. These You're missing one out here, actually, as well, though, right? France yeah, 98. France 98, yeah. The fact that, like, Germany would crash That's out. very, very interesting stats. Like, <laughs> so what you're trying to say is, is yeah. maybe England we don't, don't want win, to win. Don't win the World <laughs> Cup, so when in 2022, we don't go out with a human We take an easier path to the final, to losing the final, because we don't want to lose next World Cup. <laughs> Strategy. <laughs> 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 We're in there. Well, yeah, because if we lose, no, if we lose the semis, we get a third place playoff as well. We're planning to win the 40-40 yeah. <laughs> World Cup. <laughs> We're playing the long game. We'll come to do yeah. Arsenal. Go <laughs> us. But yeah, if you do want to talk about a bit about that, then the Curse of the Champions. Yeah, the Curse of the Champions, Germany going out against South Korea with a fourth lot, considering we went into the Did you find out what experience. round they all went out in? I can well. tell you, actually. Yeah, well, well Spain went to... Spain, I can, yeah. I'll give it right now. Spain went out in group stages. Italy went out in group stages. Brazil, Brazil quarter went finals. out in quarters. Ooh. France went out in the group stages as well, and Germany have as well. Yeah. It's group the, stages that ruin yeah. people. We reckon it's, it's strange. Easy. We say, though, it's, oh, it's easiest when you can breeze through it. Nobody's usually bothered about group stages. But turns out all the champions get like knocked out in group stage. Another thing as well, I feel, like, I feel like some of the teams, some of the teams <laughs> yeah. they play in group you stages got a bit will tend to part the bus more, so therefore I become more complacent thinking, ah, we'll score a goal eventually, come on, it's easy. We're, in, we're camping inside their own half effectively, so we'll get a goal eventually. I mean, all some of them don't, and then they start now, panicking. And now we get to talk minutes. about Germany. Yes. Do you think South Korea actually <laughs> you brought that You brought that up, just because of you were saying, obviously, South Korea got yeah, a goal, actually and then literally did part the bus. Yeah. From with Germany, I've said it already, they're just they were way too slow about it. There was no urgency whatsoever. Yeah. How Thomas Moore's still in the actual national team setup, I don't know. Considering I think he had like I think it was a glorious chance for him as well, just got through. Somehow managed to completely miscontrol the ball. Oh. And then back here to a career We're all play and watching it, it on Captain's desk at work, and I left just before you the missed pure the domination goal. happened. You missed it. it was so I was pretty Man upset about that. <laughs> Manuel Neuer thought it was Manuel effectively Neuer the German to become a striker. Yeah, basically. effectively thought it was a German side and, um, because up front, yeah, all of a sudden tries to nutmeg a Korean defender, gets like mugged off, clears it out of their own half, literally threw on goal, open net, boom. Humiliation. And um, at that point, Goodbye. I lost sixty quid. <laughs> yeah, he actually got junior sweeps. You can zoom the same. Thinking he was very, 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 very cocky and confident about and winning it. So I'm so, no, no, no. mug here and play it into mug. <laughs> Just that one over there. <laughs> One of the things as well we're pointing to is the fact we didn't take Leroy Sane through to the World Cup either, because obviously yeah. he, he yeah. had Sane, well, that's the thing. Sane should have uh, chose him to go ahead yeah. and squad, probably starting 11 as well, to be honest. Well, that's but the thing, like, well. Out of all the players that Germany took, not one of them really has any face apart from, you could say, Marco Royce, really. Yeah, but Werner never, never got, got the chance. That was something I was going to bring up, actually. You know, I said to you, I think when I was sat there, that I seemed really disjointed and disconnected. Yeah, That's yeah. what I'm talking about, because Werner, he wants it playing over the top, like, you know, yeah, counter attacks, behind, defense, behind the defence. The but the Germans, all they were doing they was passing up. it around and passing it around trying to be Spain. It doesn't really work for him. Yeah, yeah, it's not his it. style, and I feel like that's going to obviously it's affect same, him more than anything. with Jamie Vardy for England. It's not going to work when, like, your team's are parking the bus and he's just stood there and he's speed like Yeah, it makes month. certain that's strategies that. make certain players useless because yeah. of their own <laughs> traits, doesn't it, really? Yeah, yeah, yeah it is. Like parking yeah. buses, yeah. your pacey players don't get to be pacey, so like it eliminates the purpose. Or playing the counter-attack with Olivia Giroud is not going to happen. 
Yeah, yeah, but if you park the bus, the only way it works. I think Giroud is very underrated, to be he honest. Is. So the, the only way you can really work like a counter attack with Giroud is obviously if, if you have two facing wingers. I feel like that's what's working with France. Because yeah, they've but got Griezmann on one side and Mbappe on the other. I'm enjoying and then Giroud France. through the middle. Look, uh, they look very they're good. Now. They're, 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 they're interesting. They're really, they were really yeah. boring in the group stages. They don't remind me about France in the group stages. They knocked out my preference Australia. They're also not costing 60 quid. Oh, yeah. He's not going to lie. We're here again. It's all about music. Music. Yeah. Interesting enough about France is throughout the group stages, all the other teams have mentioned whether they did really well or whether they did really bad yet. Yeah. And France just like averaging just scraped through and all of a sudden boom explosion against Argentina. Which leads on to Mbappe being one of the best players of the tournament. So who do you think is actually 19 one of the best years players? of age as well? Yeah. What we do in real life. Mad insane. <laughs> insane. You're oh. walking into six with Argentina. Just scored about three goals for my own country. What did you do this weekend? <laughs> <laughs> Had a so pizza. Who do you think so far? Phil, watch been... World Cup, watch you mugging off Argentina. Yeah. Yeah. This yeah. is my life now. <laughs> Mint pizzas and beers, and that's what World Cup's all about. <laughs> yeah, Wait, it's crazy. And he's such a young player, but he's well, not beer. very, 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 not very beer. talented, isn't he? Yeah. Which leads me to the fact of who do you think has been the best player so far in the World Cup? For me. Does it have to be someone predictable? Or can I just well, go it can be. I, I, mean, I, can't go I mean, the field. suggestions are there. You've got Ronaldo, Harry Kane, Lukaku, just Harry. Suarez. I'm, I'm going left field. God in. Forsberg, Sweden. Forsberg, ooh, bold call. Ooh. <laughs> Sweden. Yeah, left field. Oh, I see. No, just, just Harry no, all you, you, I thought you'd like him because he's Sweden. Yeah, he's yeah, taking yeah. the boots. No, generally, like, in terms of like, the players, yeah. like... Yeah, he's been playing well. It's all well and good like looking at the players that are obviously he's next day meant to be there. Yeah. yeah. Like, meant to be up there. <laughs> they might already Forsberg be there, already you know? up there. Yeah. They just need to learn their free kicks. I think he's like, young as well, like 22, 23. Yeah, he's true. He's got a long career ahead of him, I feel like. To be honest, Sweden could end up being a reforce would be reckoned with like, not this tournament. Sweden. Might be in a tournament or two. Genuinely, Sweden, my team, sweeps out of Germany, <laughs> North Iceland. Beat Mexico, Mexico three anyway. nil as well. Poor Iceland. Should my team, sweepstake Sweden. Beat Mexico, not out of Sweepstake. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, the sweepstake that's just caused me to be very bitter towards them. I didn't, I didn't lose to Portugal. Good. I don't know. It's hard to call at this moment in time, but obviously when the lead I'd say Modric is Harry Kane. Modric, yeah. I can agree with that. He's just a strong, sustainable player, I reckon. It's like it doesn't have bad days really. It's still be going. It's it? always <laughs> like <laughs> yeah, yeah. He's one there. of them players, isn't he? Like, you see him playing for as long as he possibly wants to. It's always like an eight out of ten, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. yeah he's always, well, always it, good. At the end of the day, with Modric, he doesn't really rely on pace. He just relies on obviously his technique. Yeah, he just, he just knows him. the game very well, doesn't it? And then you get the mob times like the other day where he just scores an absolute banger. And then he gets the other days cool. where he gets mugged off by Castro Smeichel in front of a penalty. Oh, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, I think for, well, me, for me, one of the I'm, criti- I'm, I'm critiquing everyone here today. Yeah, critique absolutely everyone. Especially the Germans. Back, that's, that's why I brought you back to business to just <laughs> absolutely critique absolutely everyone. everyone. That's it, yeah. <laughs> well, yeah, as I was saying about well, my leading front runners for best player have obviously been Harry Kane. Not to be biased for England, but he's up there. Yeah, then you've got, just said the same. Then yeah. you've got Lukaku for Belgium. He's been banging goals in for him. He's been playing really good. Then you've got Luis Suarez for Uruguay, who has been phenomenal as well. Mm. Cavani's been uh, well, I prefer Cavani out of two of them. Yeah, Suarez, Suarez did yeah. assist Cavani, though, on both occasions. The thing is, with hi- how just highly like, people speak of Suarez, obviously apart from biting, um, <laughs> <laughs> he should be scoring most games. I was going to say something then, like, but he's a top, top, he's meant to be the world's best striker, but that's what he wants he's not about. looking like world's best striker, well, I mean, Harry Kane is. That's what he's done about Diego Costa at Spain as well, how he doesn't really that many goals, but that's also similar to Timo Werner thing. I was about to say that. Spain don't play to his strengths and every so time Costa plays with Spain he must not be there the only time well. they played to his strengths were in the Portugal game yeah. where, where they played that long ball up to him yeah, yeah. yeah. I don't know I don't understand he's why he'd have how many goals has he got you know? he got three he's got yeah. four yeah. Yeah. He's got that's, three. Not bad. that's not bad he's got three goals mm. so far so to bring it back to that biting though it's interesting you brought that up right. seeing as this is the football special we do still need to talk about some marketing no. so bring it back to the bite <laughs> the bite <laughs> yeah what did Snickers do with that Oh, I what remember did about. they do with that? I they did a massive advertisement get some, get campaign some around that. So no way. Like Suarez thing on it. Yeah. They did, yeah. Did they? Yeah. yeah. I have have a bite of Snickers, it tastes better. What? Yeah, it's what it's what a about campaign. Recently, cool. grab someone's balls. What, <laughs> that, what are they doing for that? <laughs> and that's demonetization. And job stoppers are... <laughs> 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 yeah. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is where we get demonetised. That is our IP. Oh, oh, well. <laughs> so, so big, even he can't grab them. <laughs> God, marketing oh, campaigns, eh? Brilliant. Yeah, I, 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 yeah, I didn't I'm know that the trend thing, of hashtag though. there back. That's going to happen. 
God, now we have just killed him. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Anyway! <laughs> no. But no, nah, um... Yeah, I moving think, on. Moving on swiftly. Technology. We've got to think of something controversial, and I'm pretty damn certain. I have think got of something. VAR. Does it work? Yes. 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 That answer's over. <laughs> <laughs> no, um, uh, I feel like it. I don't know. I, it's got flaws. Yeah, yeah got, it's got flaws. of course it's got flaws. That's why it's controversial. <laughs> it's got many flaws. Okay, Gav. Calm <laughs> <laughs> down, yeah, there, Gav. It has got. It has got flaws, but I feel like. As opposed to just like human nature, it's got a lot less flaws in that sense. Mm. Yeah. The only issue is, is like, how how are they using it more than anything? Yeah. For example, yeah. you know, and I know you're not going to enjoy me bringing this one up, but with Sergio Ramos against Russia like yesterday, that were a blatant penalty. Yeah. Yeah. And it was just a case of like, there's, it, there's yeah, been a couple of those that's it's like, yeah, it definitely is a penalty, and there's not much about it. It's like, yeah. yeah. I say it's all down to human I don't, I don't get how they mess it up though, said. because you watch it on the screen, you can see you've got eyes. So mm. how do you not call the right decision after watching it back? The problem that gets me is the fact we have like four or five people in that video. That's it. Yeah. All dressed yeah. in the kits, like is it it's, on it's the down to human The thing is, they've got about a thousand tellers. It's like being on Starship Enterprise and they still can't make a decision. It's really obvious. All of which had Vladimir Putin. On there, when Sergio Ramos went down, confirmed. Yeah, it's really obvious how a long they are room. None of them actually agree. With, well, some of them. Well, that's the problem. Is some of, there's discontent in terms of people disagreeing in the VAR room for starters, which is not going to help. I mean, obviously, it transfers through to referee, and it's just like yeah. I feel like it's a bit of a mess in that department. I feel like that's so. that's the problem. Is that it's going to be indecision between the other people in the actual VAR room, and the because yeah. there's yeah. always going to be that you situation know where so. someone will be saying yes. Yeah. And someone was saying, Did you no. notice at the start yeah. of the game, you know, when they announced the ref, they've now started telling you the referee's background and how well they've done in the past. Really? Because, yeah, because, it, like, I forgot what game it was, but there was, I think it was England's first game, actually. Yeah. Well, and after all the whole grabbing by a chance. Yeah, yeah, the old yeah. grabbing thing, and the ref was just shocking. I think a lot of people picked up on that and just went all of it, me do it. So, and they didn't say about the referee's background before that match, and then suddenly they start going, oh, well, there's refereed this and this final and this, and he's yeah. done well in this, and like, well, why do we need to know these things? <laughs> it's basically just a way of... Like like we're still, an, an extra we're still around his fans going to aggro the referee, regardless of whether he's right or wrong. <laughs> <laughs> if we think he's wrong, he will be wrong. Yeah, and, and if he's right, he's still wrong. <laughs> because we are England fans. <laughs> <laughs> we won't be biased. Oh, One thing as well that really irritates me at VAR is the fact that right, an incident will happen, like someone's down at box or whatever on the pitch, yeah. And the player will just resume. Like, referee will say no, yeah. straight up no, yeah. The player will resume for another minute or so. I mean, awesome. Hang on, he's got a call. Oh, hang on, we'll go call back to the VAR. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's just squid like, and the player goes on, it's just <laughs> so. The good, I've got a good point for well, it. If the play continues, then they can't check VAR, though, can yeah. they? Yeah, no. no that's that's, the that's why some players, if it's like out good. for a throw in, they'll quickly throw it back in and carry on. And, like, what do you do then? I think that's a flaw in it. I feel like it slows the play down, to be honest, but at the same time, if it's changed that rule and uh, like oh say you keep that rule and you can just carry on play and VAR don't have to use then you get complaints still like the right decision yeah. wasn't made. Mm. So the, be the best thing to do really is just to stop the play at that point. Stop then and there. If there's yeah. any if there's any like players like saying I know it's obviously you're gonna get it'll, it'll waste a lot more time. Yeah. But in the sense if there's any players saying it were a foul, just, just take it straight there and just get it yeah. over and done with. Yeah. 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 Right, as, opposed, as opposed to just like. So, you know, away. fans want to see a flowing game that's constantly using that 90 minutes rather than stopping play. Yeah, yeah, that's the only issue with it. It's kind of, you have to, well, it's that's, well, that's the only issue that's the it. biggest problem. There. I mean, another thing as well is the fact that, right, we always put, like, doubt into referee's mind, because referee will say no, but also in Birmingham, VAR yeah, will say, I'm going, but you want to look at the screen, yeah? Yeah. We've not said, oh, yes, you give a penalty, we just look at the screen. So a ref goes up to look at the screen, yeah? And the whole crowd is obviously on him, like, the pressure's on him. Most yeah. likely, he will cave in and say yes. To like precision that VAR think like he's wrong. Well, that's why he's been arrested. The many many, 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 many reverses the, the call. Yeah. Where it originally was. You don't get many referees who look at the screen and think, nah, nah, I'm right. My decision is final. It's correct. <laughs> yeah, we always seem to change it throughout the world. But it is the pressure. Yeah. Because well, yeah. we've got five other referees sat in a room who go, yeah. it's this, and, and so they've got doubt. to. It puts doubt into referees' minds. Yeah. And that's the problem. Too many that's... refs. That's the problem with VAR, in my yeah, opinion. Yeah, no one notices a ref till they've done something wrong. Yeah, <laughs> no, that is true. Well, we can bring up what we've gone from uh, 0809 with Barcelona and Chelsea. Oh, Rainbow. Rainbow didn't even know the bloke was until after that game. No, oh, God, that was horrible. Can you imagine if comes back for World Cup? Norwegian <laughs> as well, then. <laughs> yeah. Damn. Still Norway. <laughs> but yeah, World Cup, that, that is the one issue with it, is like... Yes, it's good in the sense of like you can, you can figure it out a lot 
it's, it's a lot more accurate, obviously. But it is a sense of like there's a lot more pressure on the actual referee, like you said, and the thing with human nature is you're gonna cave in. Yeah, it's as yeah. simple as that. All pressure. It's yeah. all, at the end of the day, it's always gonna be down to a human being. So the problem that I still you may as well just get the decision then yeah. and there. The problem that I don't get is VAR is supposed to aid referee. So like VAR rooms say, oh, it's a pen, or it's a free kick, or it's not. Referee should accept that. But no, you have the option to go up to look at a screen. It's just like even then, it's like a fifty-fifty call still, and it shouldn't See, be. It's yeah. supposed to be like right. Yeah, but yes, you still you still don't know the definite answer, even though we can see watching it what the that's, decision should be. Yeah, they, the problem, they then man. go to the same screens that like similar to what we're watching and see that play and yet still get it wrong sometimes like it's you still see, you still don't know dear it should it be down to indecision it's, it's every single penalty called as well and it it seems yeah. like before var when a penalty was called were they certain or not because mm. they use var every time a penalty is given yeah. now yeah so it makes yeah. you wonder yeah. did yeah. the referees actually know what's going on <laughs> no they don't because yeah. so england versus croatia Croatia. Croatia, <laughs> <Columbia>. whatever. <laughs> and start Take again. One. <laughs> Take two. Take Col- two. Colombia. England versus Colombia. So to go back to social media and all that kind of stuff that we do as a living, you know, let's pull it back to the Google meeting and the Google uh, stream that me and Gav watched here. So oh, yeah. Google recommends that when you're doing any sort of media and marketing for the World Cup, you need to be focused on the engagement after the games, not before. And not during. Well, it will make more sense because that's when people will be more reactive during it afterwards. I'm about yeah. to say, yeah, that's when not, you've all got the opinion on the game. Yeah, I'm about to say, whenever yeah, it comes to Twitter, for example, it's like there's easy, always like 70,000 70, tweets per minute yeah. per game. Yeah. So, yeah. this yeah. game's finished as well, all the memes that come out for yeah, whatever exactly. game. Why would you say Germany's memes? Yeah. <laughs> oh, I love it then. Yeah. I, I don't even think the game just, I think the game must have just oh, finished and they had the memes ready to run. Ru- yeah. <laughs> <laughs> ready to unleash. Can you imagine if they had an amazing comeback after all the memes have been created? Yeah. Someone probably said one out right at the end, right at the dev, not thinking the game had, like, <laughs> the game had finished. Germany ended up winning it. It's like, oh. Never yeah, mind. Social it's media blows true. up about the football, doesn't it? Yeah. Well, it's it's crazy. Just see all the memes of Ronaldo like, message yeah. crying. Yeah. Yeah. Loves yeah, the aeroplane like, memes. <laughs> <laughs> like the legends of a game just like yeah, going exactly. on and like disastrous style. It's just spectacular. I found it hilarious to be honest. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, the thing is Very though, funny. with engagement for it, there's loads and loads of people that don't get involved in football that engage on social media. About yeah, that's one thing, I, yeah. one thing I've noticed myself personally. Like, people around my area start commenting on football. I mean, when games, even though we're not really into football. Yeah, see, much, I'm not into start, football. You start seeing it all over the place. It's just it's brilliant, really. It's because it's, it's, it's a national team, and obviously, you want to get behind yeah. them in any way you can, yeah. really. And social media tends to be the way to do it these days. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. You just get yeah. people jumping on like people's opinions and comments. And That's right. Yeah. It all does now, though, doesn't it? It goes straight onto social media. Especially every every well, opinion someone's got is straight onto social media. Yeah. That's yeah. it. I no mean, doubt about talking it. about the memes and the comedy, Paddy Power, absolutely brilliant. Yeah. <laughs> absolutely incredible. Some of the jokes they create after games, fantastic. Yeah, it's our focus, though, and it sports uh, memes and stuff like yeah. that. Yeah. So. Should help the doing. <laughs> yeah, you <laughs> hope so. Yeah, yeah especially about so. World Cup time. So, like the one about um, you know, like Griezmann, he went to like announce his transfer decision, which was nothing. Which is absolutely nothing. Yeah. So Paddy Power like, oh, let's make a video ourselves. But any little decision we will make, we'll make a video about it. Like, <laughs> who is going to make a brew in the office? And also, like, it was like an intense video about it. And the deals. Those are pretty great. So you get out on Paddy Power. Yeah. Yeah. People just react to anything now, don't they, nowadays? They yeah, do, yeah. Watch. Anybody reacts to anything and it's just, it's mad. It's crazy. Fun to watch. It's, it's like fun to watch that, that's for sure. Yeah, oh, yeah. I'm going to say, as soon as the game ends, I'm straight on straight, so I should just have a look at the comments. It's, on it. all right. it's yeah. best when you get the videos as well, like uh, the Germany going out. So like, it was a video of like, oh, all the English fans right now on social media is like, look, the cat on the laptop is going like that. Even on like Snapchat, as all the people get the Snapchats out after a goal and everybody's going, oh, I'm absolutely I crazy. Always, I always say, if you're Snapchat. in the actual stadium yeah, yeah, yeah. as well, I would say if you're in the stadium as well and you get that, it's just, it's a good thing yeah, to Yeah, that's what I mean. If, yeah. you're, if you can record that live and then put it straight onto Snapchat from the stadium, then yeah. it's crazy, isn't it? Well, that's it's it's Facebook cool. Live as well, straight from the stadium. Yeah, yeah. So, I mean, it's just social media is like you can do with the World Cup at this time, isn't it, really, now? Yeah, yeah. that's it. It'll we'll be interesting to see what happens after the World Cup endings, because Google recommends in, in that uh, seminar thing that me and Gav watched, they basically were saying that it doesn't stop at the end of the World Cup. Oh, no, Actually, it, won't go. it goes full power social well, it media. Will go I would say it will do. It'll probably end like a month down the line or something. It is, yeah, it goes yeah. into Premier League. 
Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. We're straight into it next season, won't it? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Interesting yeah. enough about. I was gonna say you just you have the World Cup then a couple of weeks later. You know the season starts and it's just that, you know yeah. you actually have to support um, another player. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Criticising <laughs> yeah. the World yeah. Cup, be like ah. Yeah, like the whole Harry Kane thing going to, like you know. Fought in him for England and then and because you know. Spurs and yeah, it's like, ah. The thing yeah. is though, when you play for your country, his friends become rivals. Everyone starts uniting. So yeah. Well, that's again because it's more controversy on social media because there'll be players that you'll be watching on like a, a nation's team that will be playing for your club and you'll be shouting at Telly him for doing bad and then so when it gets to Premier League and his own team <laughs> support you're like oh, you're oh right, mate. Yeah, yeah. Well, for example you could be like Gavin and say Harry Kane's a god as soon as season starts that's it he's a god but when Premier League starts he won't be a god <laughs> <laughs> yeah nobody will like him then there's no place to spare that one. yeah yeah I feel that's one of the problems that's why he's living it up at England isn't it because yeah. he knows he's yeah. going to spare <laughs> pretty much just to Spurs he's like oh god yeah, just the, the amount of criticism players well. get on social media, yeah, for example. Yeah. Like, it's yeah. just but that's what we joke about him like returning to Spurs, but that'll be a topic, won't it? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. That was smooth as well. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 And on that note, it's time to wrap up. Yeah. Right. Thanks for joining us this podcast. Goodbye. See you later. <laughs> See you later. Goodbye. Goodbye. But it's one last thing. <laughs> Good thing we just finished, didn't it? Turn off the bear. <laughs> 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 hashtag, <laughs> hashtag bear back. The bear is back. <laughs> that's that's going well, in now. Turn off the bear. 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 Turn off the bear